Hi, Sandy here. Um, so I finished my um, zoo scrapbook pages and I got them all in the pockets and I moved them into this bigger book along with um, a mini vacation from 2016 where we went to Des Moines and Adventureland. Um, now for these little things that we do, if it's only a couple of pages, a few pages, it would go in my family scrapbook with, you know, little things. Uh, but because it takes up several pages, um, they get their own section in a vacation book, but they're not big enough to fill a whole book on themselves like my usual vacations. So I, I this is my second book I'm doing of this. Um, so this is our vacation. I'm just going to flip through quickly. We drove to Des Moines and went to the Adventureland Amusement Park and and took pictures and scrapped them. Um, and then we stayed at a motel overnight nearby. It was just a weekend trip. And uh, next to the motel was uh, this really cool gas station diner with the old pumps and Route 66 stuff and I made these pages and this is from 2016 and then uh, driving home we stopped at the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall and they were having a big sidewalk sale a parking lot sale with tents and I took a lot of pictures of the stuff that I liked so they had some Mickey Mouse stuff for sale we bought we bought a couple of things but um, so I just got all that in there and then w this is what I just did um, and I put these tabs on each section so you know when you're going from one section to another this is our Henry Dorley Zoo vacation of 6 14 19 not a vacation just a day at the zoo so I just finished these pages and here's a quick flip through um, I didn't do much journaling or anything just the pictures and used what I had and downloaded some pictures of animals from Pinterest and printed them to decorate some of the pages so this is 35 pages of, of zoo pictures and I scrap all the pictures I don't I don't save any for in a box or something. I, I scrapbook all of them. If I don't want to keep the picture, I delete it. If I want to keep the picture, I print it and I put it in the scrapbook. There's sharks and stingrays. They, they have a huge aquarium there. Um, various fish. Um, jellyfish. You might hear my husband. He's watching the Chiefs game today and they are getting their butts kicked and he's not very happy. <laughs> Just ignore him. He's not mad at anybody uh, except the Chiefs. Um, they're baby seals. Uh, penguins. They have a nice penguin thing. They're pretty popular there. Swan. They have a lot of nice statues. This is a, a swan statue in a, in a pond. This is a, actually a bird statue right there and these are real birds. I don't get real, real fancy. I just put stuff on a page. I don't think much about layouts. I do a lot of the same layouts, um, but I just get it. I just get the pictures on colorful pages and interesting pages, and and that's that. So now, here's my book, and these these binders. If you don't know, they come with these pockets. Um, always on the front and in the spine and usually on the back but not always I'm going to take this sticker off so I'm going to make a cover for it and a spine so I've chosen this piece of paper now I've cut most of my paper down to eight and a half by eleven because that's what I make my pages I only do eight and a half by eleven but um, I didn't think about when I make my covers that doesn't work too well so this is wood and I have a I didn't do the themed papers and I have a section called um, like house home 
and this is wood. I would have wood and rock and building supplies, things like that in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little mark right here. Got it lined up. And then um, I'm going to make a little mark like right here. And make it a little bit small because sometimes it's kind of hard to get these pages in. And I've kind of thought this through. See, it's got this, this kind of border around it. And I'm going to lose that. And I decided I'd rather keep it at the top and lose it on the bottom. Um, I'm not going to lose all of it over here. So now I'm going to trim this paper down. If I can find my marks. There it is. Okay. And I save these. Those are important. Okay. Now, if all of these corners are square, well, yeah, they're all square. Oftentimes, these two corners will be kind of rounded. So I'll, I will cut a little rounding off. In fact, I'm going to do these two bottom corners. I don't usually use this, but it's a pretty good idea. Yeah, okay. And you could do the top too, but I think it will fit the shape better like this. Okay. So now we're going to work on the top, the cover. And I've come up with a few things. This is, I cut out of a magazine. And I cut cut the corners. Kind of fancy. Come and explore. Let's plan a road trip. And then I, yeah, I love making tags. I had this tag. It says, life is an adventure, adventure and bark now. And then I got this sticker that says adventure. And then I got this that says, are we there yet? So I'm just going to glue those on there. Now I could get specific, but you see I got two sections in that scrapbook now. And, and, and I'm going to get at least one, possibly two more sections in here. And I don't know what those are going to be yet. So if I was done, I would know what they would be. I would have a, something about Des Moines and something about the zoo and something about the other places. But I don't know what it's going to be. So I'm going to generic on this one. So I'm going to glue these on. You know, you don't have to get real fancy. If you want to, you can just use some print scrapbook paper. Um, but I like to customize my books. Okay, so let's get this glued on. See, this is out of a magazine. Um, when I when I um, go on vacations and trips, I save uh those free magazines you get at the motel and stuff they tell about the area a lot of it's worthless stuff but sometimes you find some good stuff in there I like to angle things that's how I do it do whatever suits you there now this one has a button on it and that'll be fine it's gonna go behind the page protector um, it, it shouldn't be much of a problem. I wouldn't get too carried away putting a lot of lumpy things on there. So this is a sticker adventure. I just dug into my, my um, binder where I keep all of my travel stuff. Are we there yet? Okay, now this is done. Quick and easy. Sometimes I get fancier. And now we're going to just slide this right into the front pocket. And because I made it a little bit small, it's going well. If you get it tight, sometimes you got to fight it. And sometimes if you don't, do get it what seems right. And this, this, the spine oftentimes gives me trouble. Now, I chose this piece of scrap paper because it goes with, it, the color, it coordinates pretty well with that. So, I'm going to look from the edge here. I don't, I, want it, I don't want it to fit in there tightly, so I'm going to make it a little small. Can't really see. Okay. So I made a mark where I'm going to um, trim this piece of paper. And that, 
that this is eight and a half by eleven, um, and I already had it cut, and I would normally cut the top off too, but it's, it fits. It might be slightly short, but that doesn't matter a lot. And now, I like to use these strips. I usually end up with these strips when I make my cover page, and then this makes it match um, the the cover page. And one will be go; they'll be going in different directions, but it still matches. Okay. So you can either put them like this. I'm going to put these close to the edge because I'm going to be putting more things on here and I don't want it to be to cover up too much of my my print paper here. Now these are not the same width and that doesn't bother me. Um, but you, you can cut them the same width if you want to. So line it up straight and put that on there. And then I need my scissors. You know I got these scissors I got from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I love them. Uh, they're I, I got pink, purple, and blue and I don't think they have any more. Last time I looked I bought the last pair because I love them so much and the handles are so comfortable like um, these are what I've been using for years and I can only well I got three fingers in there but sometimes it's hard to get my fingers in there but these these have this kind of rubber in there these are so comfortable I really like them okay so we're going to trim that off. Now, that color looks pretty good with that. I've chosen some labels. Um, I think I'll trim this down because it might be a little big. Alright, so on this I'm going to write vacations and adventures. I'm going to put this sticker on there. It says sightseeing. And I got this sticker that says fun. And make sure it's not too wide. Nope, that will fit. So I'm going to freehand vacations and adventures. Okay. And I'm going to glue this on here. I'm not going to angle this one. And then um, I'm going to put this one on next. So I'm going to write on it first. I've got this um, 2016 Des Moines, Iowa. I'm going to underline that. I'm going to write Adventureland, Max's Diner. and brass armadillo now that's one of our trips our little adventures so I'm going to put that right here and then um, I've got oops 614 2019 Henry Dorley Zoo
I think I will make the zoo in big letters. Now, if you've got a way to print on print these out in better handwriting, whatever you you like to do, or have someone else <laughs> write them out for you. So I'm going to put this right here, and then this. We don't know what the next trip's going to be, but I'm going to glue it on there. And if I if we do a fourth trip, I'll have a room for that. I don't think I'll fit more than four things in this book. So I'm going to leave this one blank for our next trip, and this is done. So that was pretty fast and easy. Now. <coughs> I'm going to slip this into the binder and often if you open it up that releases a little bit of the stress and makes it go in there easier oh yeah this is going to be easy sometimes it really fights me that this went, this went very well and you can put things in this back too they don't usually have these on here so you might have to trim it down but sometimes I'll put something in the back so there's the spine. I'll put this a little lower so it's not so close. So there's the spine and the cover. And that's done quick and easy. And I've done like 93 of these books. So you, I almost always use these these binders and you can make your custom pages. Th this is why I love these these binders and they're they're they cost less than um the scrapbooks. And uh, I often find them for two dollars at thrift stores. They used to be a dollar, but now they're two dollars in most places. But still, that's pretty pretty good bargain. So my zoo scrapbooking is done. So I'm caught up again. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.